Welcome to my passion travel channel, a channel specializing in street food and travel. Mbisi Mbisi, grilled or fried fish served with a spicy vegetable sauce. Mbisi Mbisi is a dish commonly found in the Kasai Oriental region, typically featuring grilled or fried fish served with a spicy vegetable sauce. Here's a basic recipe along with ingredients and preparation steps. Ingredients for the fish. Fresh fish, such as tilapia, catfish, or any local freshwater fish. Salt black pepper, lemon juice, or vinegar, optional. For the vegetable sauce, tomatoes, chopped onion, finely chopped garlic, minced hot peppers, such as scotch bonnet or habanero. Finely chopped, adjust amount to taste. Vegetable oil salt, to taste black pepper, to taste Maggie cubes, or seasoning, optional for extra flavor. Water or broth, optional garnish. Fresh cilantro or parsley, chopped lime or lemon wedges. Preparation, prepare the fish. Clean the fish thoroughly, removing scales and innards if necessary. Rinse under cold water. Pat the fish dry with paper towels. Make diagonal cuts on both sides of the fish to allow the seasonings to penetrate. Rub the fish with salt, black pepper, and lemon juice, or vinegar, if using. Allow it to marinate for at least 15, 30 minutes. Grill or fry the fish. Heat a grill or skillet over medium-high heat. If grilling, brush the grill grates with oil to prevent sticking. Place the fish on the grill and cook for about five, seven minutes on each side, or until cooked through and slightly charred. If frying, heat oil in a frying pan and fry the fish until golden brown and cooked through. Remove the fish from the grill or skillet and set aside. Prepare the vegetable sauce. In a separate pan, heat some vegetable oil over medium heat. Add the chopped onions and garlic. Saute until fragrant and translucent. Add the chopped tomatoes and hot peppers. Cook until the tomatoes are softened and begin to break down. Season with salt, black pepper, and Maggie cubes, or seasoning, if using. Adjust seasoning according to taste. Add water or broth to create a sauce consistency. Simmer for a few minutes to allow the flavors to meld together. Assemble and serve. Place the grilled or fried fish on a serving platter. Spoon the spicy vegetable sauce over the fish. Garnish with chopped cilantro or parsley, if desired. Serve hot with lime or lemon wedges on the side, and any accompaniments like steamed rice, boiled cassava, or fried plantains. Makemba, fried sweet potato slices. Fried sweet potato slices, also known as makemba, are a simple yet delicious dish. Here's a basic recipe to prepare makemba. Ingredients sweet potatoes, as many as desired. Vegetable oil for frying salt, to taste. Optional, additional seasonings like paprika, garlic powder, or cinnamon for added flavor. Instructions, prepare the sweet potatoes. Wash the sweet potatoes thoroughly under running water to remove any dirt or debris. Peel the sweet potatoes and slice them into thin rounds. You can adjust the thickness according to your preference, but aim for slices that are about one quarter inch thick. Heat the oil. Pour vegetable oil into a deep frying pan or skillet. You'll want enough oil to submerge the sweet potato slices completely. Heat the oil over medium high heat until it reaches around 350 to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. 175 to 190 degrees Celsius. You can test the temperature by dropping a small piece of sweet potato into the oil. It should sizzle immediately. Fry the sweet potato slices. Carefully add the sweet potato slices to the hot oil in batches, making sure not to overcrowd the pan. Fry them in batches for even cooking. Fry the slices for about three, 
five minutes on each side, or until they are golden brown and crispy. Use a slotted spoon or tongs to remove the fried sweet potato slices from the oil and transfer them to a plate lined with paper towels to drain off any excess oil. Season and serve. While the sweet potato slices are still hot, sprinkle them with salt and any additional seasonings you like to taste. Serve the makemba immediately as a tasty snack or side dish. Casa Casa, grilled beef skewers. Casa Casa, which refers to grilled beef skewers, is a popular dish in some regions. Here's a basic recipe to prepare casa casa. Ingredients. Beef. You can use sirloin, tenderloin, or any preferred cut. Cut into cubes, salt and pepper to taste wooden skewers. Soaked in water for about 30 minutes to prevent burning optional marinade ingredients. Olive oil garlic, minced lemon juice, paprika cumin soy sauce honey, or brown sugar for sweetness. Instructions. Prepare the beef. If you're using wooden skewers, soak them in water for about 30 minutes to prevent burning while grilling. Cut the beef into evenly sized cubes, about 1 to 1.5 inches in size. Marinate the beef, optional. In a bowl, combine the olive oil, minced garlic, lemon juice, paprika, cumin, soy sauce, and honey or brown sugar, if using, to create a marinade. Add the beef cubes to the marinade and toss to coat evenly. Cover the bowl and refrigerate for at least 30 minutes to allow the flavors to meld. You can marinate the beef for longer for a more intense flavor, even overnight, if desired. Skewer the beef. Thread the marinated beef cubes onto the soaked wooden skewers, leaving a little space between each piece to ensure even cooking. Grill the casa casa. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat. Place the beef skewers on the preheated grill and cook for about three, four minutes on each side, or until the beef is cooked to your desired level of doneness and has nice grill marks. If using a charcoal grill, make sure the coals are evenly distributed and hot before placing the skewers on the grill. Serve. Once the beef skewers are cooked, remove them from the grill and let them rest for a few minutes. Serve the casa casa hot, either on the skewers or removed from the skewers and plated. You can serve them with your favorite side dishes or dipping sauces, boiled peanuts. Peanuts boiled in salted water until tender. Boiled peanuts are a popular snack in many regions, especially in the southern United States. Here's a simple recipe to prepare boiled peanuts. Ingredients. Raw peanuts, in shell, about one pound water, enough to cover the peanut salt, about one four to one two cup, or to taste, optional. Additional seasonings like Cajun seasoning, garlic powder, or chili flakes for added flavor instructions. Prepare the peanuts. Rinse the raw peanuts under cold water to remove any dirt or debris. You can also soak them in water for a few hours or overnight to help soften the shells and reduce cooking time. Boil the peanuts. In a large pot, add the rinsed peanuts and cover them with water. Make sure there's enough water to fully submerge the peanuts. Add salt to the water. The amount of salt can vary depending on personal preference, but a general guideline is about one quarter to one half cup of salt per pound of peanuts. Optional. If you want to add additional seasonings for flavor, such as Cajun seasoning, garlic powder, or chili flakes, you can add them to the pot as well. Bring the water to a boil over high heat, then reduce the heat to low to maintain a gentle simmer. Simmer the peanuts. Allow the peanuts to simmer in the salted water for about three to four hours, or until they reach your desired level of tenderness. 
check the peanuts periodically to ensure they remain submerged in water. Add more water if needed during the cooking process. Test for doneness. After a few hours of simmering, carefully remove a peanut from the pot and allow it to cool slightly. Taste it to check for doneness. The peanuts should be soft and tender, with a texture similar to cooked beans. Serve. Once the peanuts are cooked to your liking, remove the pot from the heat and drain the peanuts in a colander. Serve the boiled peanuts warm or at room temperature. They can be enjoyed as a snack on their own or used as a topping for salads, soups, or other dishes. And seke, grilled fish seasoned with salt and spices. And seke, a dish consisting of grilled fish seasoned with salt and spices. Sounds delicious. Here's a simple recipe to prepare in seke. Ingredients. Whole fish, such as tilapia, trout, or catfish, cleaned and gutted salt, to taste ground black pepper, to taste paprika, to taste lemon juice, for drizzling olive oil or vegetable oil, for grilling. Optional. Additional spices or herbs like garlic powder, onion powder, or cayenne pepper for added flavor. Instructions. Prepare the fish. Rinse the whole fish under cold water and pat dry with paper towels. Score the fish on both sides with shallow cuts using a sharp knife. This helps the seasoning penetrate the flesh and ensures even cooking. Season the fish. In a small bowl, mix together salt, ground black pepper, paprika, and any other desired spices or herbs. Rub the spice mixture evenly over the surface of the fish, making sure to coat both sides and inside the cavity. Preheat the grill. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat. If using a charcoal grill, wait until the coals are evenly hot and glowing. Grill the fish. Lightly oil, the grill grates to prevent sticking. You can use a brush or paper towel to apply oil. Place the seasoned fish directly onto the grill grates, positioning it diagonally to the bars to prevent sticking. Grill the fish for about five, seven minutes on each side, depending on the thickness of the fish, or until it is cooked through and flakes easily with a fork. Avoid flipping the fish too frequently to prevent it from falling apart. Serve. Once the fish is cooked, remove it from the grill and transfer it to a serving platter. Drizzle the grilled fish with fresh lemon juice for a burst of citrus flavor. Serve the ensiki hot, accompanied by your favorite side dishes, such as rice, grilled vegetables, or a fresh salad.